Today we're going to do a variety of things. The first one we're going to look at is percent composition. And when we say percent composition, we mean percent by mass. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say we're going to find the percent composition of Al2O3. That's going to be part A. So if I were taking a look at aluminum oxide, whenever I have aluminum oxide, it's always going to have two aluminums and three oxygens. If I were to look at the molecular weight of this, I have two aluminums. Each aluminum has a molecular weight of 27. I have three oxygens. Each oxygen has a weight of 16, which gives us 54 plus 48, or a total of 102. Which element contributed more to the molecular weight? Aluminum did. So in any sample of aluminum oxide, when I break it apart into aluminum and oxygen, I'm always going to have a little bit more aluminum than I do oxygen. If I were to find the percent composition, if I wanted the percent aluminum, I take the molecular weight of all of the aluminums, put it over the total, and multiply by 100. So 54 divided by 102 times 100 tells me that this compound is 52.9% aluminum. The percent oxygen could be found by doing the weight of all of the oxygens over the total times 100. 48 divided by 102 times 100 gives me 47.1% oxygen. Notice that your percentages all add up to 100. If you have three elements, you do it the same way. You just have to do it three separate times. So if I were answering this question, my answer would be 52.9% aluminum and 47.1% oxygen. How can we use percent composition to do something else? Well, for example, I could ask you this. In 26 grams of Al2O3, we could find the grams of aluminum and the grams of oxygen. I know that of this 26 grams, 52.9% of it is aluminum. So to get the grams of aluminum, I will take 52.9%, turn it into a decimal, and multiply by the total grams. 0.529 times the total grams of 26 gives me 13.75 grams of aluminum. Alternatively, some people like to set it up as a proportion, where you have molecular weights on one side and grams on the other. I know that 54 out of every 102 is aluminum. So how much out of 26 grams is aluminum? 54 over 102 equals 0.529. So this mathematically is doing the same thing that that is. So in this proportion, on this side I have grams, in th on this side I have molecular weight, and in both cases I have the part over the whole. This will also give me 13.75 grams. If I wanted to find the grams of oxygen, I'm going to approach it a similar way. 48 out of every 102 is oxygen. So how much out of 26 grams? 48 divided by 102 times 26 gives me 12.24 grams. What needs to be true about these two grams? The mass of the aluminum plus the mass of the oxygen should equal the total grams, which it pretty much does. I did a little bit of rounding along the way. So you're going to take a look at a practice problem now where you're going to try something similar. 